In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to download a sponsor ad and import it into your software so that you can play it during the TV timeout within your league. And this will pretty much set everything up that you need. So first of all, we're going to go to our browser. We will send you an email link. Basically, in the email, you just open it up and uh, it'll, it'll open in a browser. For example, this is Chrome. And on this uh, simple little text link here, you just hover over with your mouse, right click with your mouse, and then save the link as. And when you do that, it'll drop into, for example, a download directory, and you begin saving it. Now you'll notice, bottom left-hand corner, it will start to download whatever the uh, video is. It should come in really quickly. Now what you can do is click on this arrow, and that'll take you to the folder where the file is being downloaded. I'm, I'm going to stop this because we don't need this entire file. But in that folder, which happens to be right here, you'll find the commercial spot has been downloaded. Now what you need to do is take that and drop it into what I recommend is a, a separate folder under Documents and Videos. So under your documents and videos have something called ad spots. Let's drag that into ad spots. So now we have a library being created of various commercials that you'll download. And because they're always in the same place, it's going to make it quite easy for our software. What we do then is once we're in our mixing software, we are going to add an input. So let's go ahead and click on that and make sure from the left hand menu we have video selected. And when you click on this button browse, you're going to locate your video directory, add spots, and there's our commercial. Go ahead and click on that and by clicking open and then once again within the import uh, or input selection, click OK and there you've got it set up. Now what you need to do for your broadcast, this is a very important step, this gear icon right here, when you click that it's going to open up a window like this and the aspect ratio needs to change to normal. Now I'm just going to change that back and forth so you can see what happens. You'll notice that the uh, the video squeezes uh, from top to bottom and, and that is going to give us the correct aspect ratio so please make sure you do that. Finally, if you want to set it up for uh, integration within your broadcast, you click the title bar. And by clicking with your left mouse button, it will turn yellow. And you'll notice that it is on deck, or what I call your, pre it's your preview window, and it's ready to mix into your program. Introducing Subway's new carved turkey. Simply like that. So that's how you bring your commercial spot in. That's how you queue it up and get it ready to play within your broadcast. And you can uh, you can change that around. If you don't want that spot living there the whole time, you have the opportunity to add other elements, maybe different video elements that you have, uh, whatever that the case may be. Anytime you click within your sources, these are the smaller boxes on the bottom, whatever you click will preview it on the left hand side, the large window on the top, and makes it ready to utilize your transition buttons here to right, fade move that over? into your broadcast. It's that simple. So hopefully that'll get you going and uh, follow these procedures. You shouldn't have too much problem at all. We'll continue to do more of these series and give you great information on how to use this software, how to enhance your production quality, and, uh, and bring ad revenue to your broadcast. Thanks for watching.